up people supreme decisions here and yes today i come bearing questions the question i have is what is the one thing i constantly ask you guys to do when you're facing a criminal case yes that's to get the warrant application not only for arrests but any subsequent searches and the reason i do that is because you have an opportunity for challenges because anytime there's an opportunity or you're having a police encounter it sets up procedures if those procedures are not followed properly you have a right for a public trial but also what if you discover that a police officer is a liar what if he lied or she lied, you know, equal opportunity. You have this thing called a Frank's hearing. A Frank's hearing actually originates from Frank's v. Delaware. Yeah, it's an actual case. Because this is one of the things where you can actually have evidence suppressed because there is no actual supported, supported probable cause that's placed into the warrant application to get a warrant because anytime you find a lie or discrepancy or something of that nature it allows for that evidence to be suppressed this is something that a lot of you not gonna like what I'm about to say but it was found out in the Breonna Taylor case it was found in one of the police officers application for the actual entry that there was a discrepancy a lie and in, based on that lie, it required them to search a little bit deeper to find out what was going on. In the midst of finding that out, Kenneth Walker got paid. Brianna's parents got paid. So, keep that in mind. Franks v. Delaware allows you to check out the warrant application. And if the police officer misspeaks, lies, have a discrepancy. It allows for evidence that's being brought in that case to be suppressed. So, love you guys. Another quick video. Sorry about that. But we're getting ready to go into a new phase. I hope you guys enjoy it because we're going to start weaponizing our defense. Keep supporting the podcast. Keep supporting the channel. Get your t-shirts. Supreme, out.